Hello everyone, it is Kim with Cooking With Nails. And today we're going to do a doggy bag remix. So I've had a lot of eventful things going on this week that I'm gonna kind of share with you all as we're cooking or as I'm cooking. Uh, but the doggy bag remix is, uh, I went out to a luncheon today. One of the ladies that I work with retired and uh, we all met out for lunch and we went to this uh, really nice restaurant and it um, had a nice, uh, uh, a really nice salad bar. So when I ordered my entree, the salad bar was included. So by the time I got finished eating the salad bar, I wasn't really hungry. I didn't want uh, my entree. So I brought it home, of course, because you know, I wasn't gonna throw it away. I brought it home because I hadn't eaten any of it. And so at first I was just gonna be selfish <laughs> and uh, eat my, my uh, doggy bag for dinner. But then I, I do have an 18 year old and he's a sweetheart. Um, he gets on my nerves a lot, but you know, what kid does not, or uh, you know, so I said, okay, well, I'm going to cook for him too, but I hadn't really taken anything out. So I was like, well, what can I do? And then I was like, oh my God, I can add to my entree. So my entree here was broiled seafood. Of course, it was broiled in butter and it's uh, codfish, shrimp, and scallops. And then it also came with uh, steamed broccoli. So I was like, what can I do with that? So and it came to me, I was like, oh, I can kind of read, I can add some more shrimp, broil some shrimp, broil some crab meat, throw some uh, grape tomatoes in there, season it up real good, broil it, add it all together, and then mix in some uh, mushrooms and the broccoli and put it all over some rice in a butter sauce. Ta-da! <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so I have the, of course, the doggy bag. I've got crab meat. I have shrimp. I've got the great tomatoes. Uh, I've got some onions. I've got my mushrooms already sauteed. They're about done. I had uh, chopped up an onion and some mushrooms. So I have them in there already. Um, and then I've also got some Italian parsley. And then my seasonings, I have onion powder, Italian seasoning. I have a Tuscan uh, garlic powder. I've also got uh, a table blend, uh, black pepper, and I'm gonna use some of my lollies. I've got uh, my oil. I'm using an extra virgin olive oil. I've got some basmati rice, and then I've also got a, a garlic, and we're gonna uh, break that up, chop that up, and add that in there. So that's what I've got going on today, and we're gonna add on to this and just just make a whole whole meal out of it. I've also got this. <laughs> very special uh pie or whatever it is i you know i i inherited my grandmother's home um my grandmother my grandfather's home and uh this was a pot that was downstairs in the basement and i've always i'm like what am i gonna do with this pot because it's so odd shaped um it's not heavy but it's solid it's not cast iron so i'm assuming that it's all aluminum um so i guess it would be good for you know uh boiling things uh frying things and broiling so i'm gonna use this i'm gonna broil uh everything in here and it should come out uh hopefully you know good in this it ought to broil really good in this so that's what that's that's my story and i'm sticking to it so I've already uh, got my onions chopped. I'm going to rinse off uh, some tomatoes here and chop them in half. And then, so uh, if you hear any music playing in the background, I uh, am listening to Gerald Laverse. So, you know, I do not own any rights to this music. Uh, but the reason why I'm playing it is because uh, on this weekend also was my sister's birthday, and we all went, uh, we had an awesome time. Uh, helping her bring in her birthday and we went to a karaoke club uh, here in Flint and uh, one of the guys that performed uh, sung In My Songs by Gerald Laverne and I almost thought Gerald was reincarnated in him because he did an awesome job he sounded something just like him and it just oh it was great so uh <laughs> Funny story, so I used to, I have an autoimmune disease, it's called dermatomyositis, 
And it's funny because I pronounce it dermamyositis, and if you ever look it up, that's how it looks. But when the doctors pronounce it, they add all these syllables in, and I'm like, what are you just trying to sound smart? This is dermamyositis. But anyway, <laughs> with this autoimmune disease, um, it affects my throat. So I, I used to have a really decent, really decent singing voice. And um, I won't say that it's not decent now, but I, I, it's not, my, my vocals are not strong anymore like they used to be. So it's either harder for me to hit notes or, you know, they don't come out or uh, I sound strained or just, you know, various of things happen uh, when I sing now. And so, but we're at my sister's uh, uh, gathering, you know, birthday gathering at this karaoke club. And I'm like, okay, you know what, forget it, I'm going to sing. Uh, but I didn't want to do a slow song. I didn't want to do the slow song because, of course, you know, with slow songs, you know, people can hear, you know, they pay more attention when you're singing a slow song. So they can hear if you're, you know, out of tune or anything like that. So I said, okay, I'm going to do a fast song. So that way I can keep them moving, dancing. And, you know, we're going to have, you know, I'll get up there and I won't be embarrassed. And so, but I couldn't think of a fast song. All the music that I listened to, excuse me, I'm just sweating. Uh, all the music that I listened to, I couldn't think of a slow song. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to sing? So then it, I don't know why it came to me, Think by Aretha Franklin, you know, from the Blues Brothers movie. Uh, you better think, think about what you're trying to do to me. And I said, think, think, think. So I was like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and so I wrote it down, put it up there, gave it to the DJ. And then uh, it was finally my turn. He called me up. And I get up there and I'm like, yeah, I got this. Because, you know, I, I'm going to dance a little bit. And, you know, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to get through this song. I didn't realize that I only know the chorus of this song. I don't know why. Oh, this light. It must be the lighting from this. I done got hot. But um, I'm like, oh my God, I don't know this song. So all I know is the chorus. I don't know the lyrics. And the song came on and I started off great. I think, think about what you're trying to do to me. I mean, I'm singing, y'all. And then it came down to the main uh, verse. <laughs> it was going and I was mad. I was like, oh my God. And so I'm up on stage stuck because I can't read this. Uh, but thank God for one of my friends. He came up and and, uh, and tried to save me. We started dancing and everything. To, and then when the chorus came in, I went back and started singing. And, you know, I made it to the end, thank God. But uh, that was hilarious. But we had a really, really, really awesome time uh, at, her, at her gathering. And now I know if I do it again, if I attempt singing again in public, it will be to a song that I know. Okay, so what I've got here is I got my shrimp. I've already got some of my olive oil down in the pan and I'm going to go ahead and cut my uh, broiler on. I'm going to cut it on low. I'm not going to cut it on high. Cut it on low and I'm going to put my shrimp in there. And I'm gonna, my onions that I chopped up. I'm also going to add these tomatoes. I still have yet to chop up the garlic. Um, and put that in there and the process, parsley and the butter. But I'm going to add all of this now, for now. DJ, yeah, I'm saying I don't know them words either while I'm playing. <laughs> no, actually, I do. I just came in in the wrong spot. But uh, yeah, so um, like I said, this has been a real eventful weekend. Um, it was my sister's birthday today. I went to the luncheon uh, with my co worker who has retired, and then I also. Uh, had a girlfriend uh, that lives in North Carolina, her and her son. Her son and my son were on the same soccer team, which was the Stings, I believe, back in uh, North Carolina. And uh, they're both grown now. He's 18, my son's 18, and, and her son is 18 too. And anyway, she was coming through the area, so I met her uh, in Kalamazoo, and we had... Um, uh, a dinner last night and we got a chance to meet so hi brandy hi logan i know they're headed back today back to north carolina so uh i'm gonna i did put in a traveling grace prayer for you all that you all make it back safely unharmed uh no maintenance issues and uh 
not worrying about police or anything like that. So may God take them and carry them through the uh, roadway so that they'll get home safely uh, and be able to return to their normal and daily lives. So I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, crab meat in there. So I've been eating out a lot too because we went to um, karaoke. I ate out there. Uh, I ordered just that little appetizers, you know, at night. You know, when you have them adult beverages and things, sometimes you get a little hungry uh, in, in the evening. So um, uh, I ate there. And then, of course, you know, we had a couple drinks. And then uh, I met her. We ate out uh, in Kalamazoo. And then I went out to <laughs> went out to lunch today. So I've been spending a lot of money eating out. So I'm, I'm trying to cook so that I can save me some money. Okay, so I've got the crab meat in there. I've got the shrimp, the tomatoes, the onions. I'm just going to tear off some of these uh, Italian parsley. Rinse them off. And I'm going to add that to them, uh, to the shrimp and everything. And then I'm going to cut my garlic up and add it in. So when you're cooking a lot of times, you want to, you know, we do do a lot of the seasonings. But if you can add any fresh ingredients to what you're cooking, you would be surprised how, um, how it just freshens up uh, your meal. So I've got the fresh parsley uh, there. And I had lemon, lemons, I suppose the lemon and the juice in this, so I don't have any fresh lemons, or I might, I'll check. Uh, so I'm just now gonna add the seasoning. I still have to add my garlic, but I'm gonna add the seasoning and I'm gonna stir all this up. And I've already got the olive oil in the pan and then I just got to add um, my butter. So is there any songs that you all just do do any of you do karaoke? Let let me ask that first. And if you do, what's the, what's one of your favorite songs to sing? Uh, I I do realize now that I need to do a song that I know from beginning to end. Don't grab something where I only know the chorus and then can't keep up with the music when it's over because you know or while it's going because you don't you know you don't understand the song enough to to do that. So now I'm getting ready to. This garlic may have been sitting, this is real salt. That garlic may have been sitting up there too long. Hold on one second. Okay, so we always can eliminate issues a lot of time in this household because I've always got something. So I've already got some minced garlic here. And I'm going to take that and just put that right in there. And then I don't have to worry yet about chopping up none anyway. Okay, that's about gone. So I'm gonna need to get some more garlic and some more minced garlic. All right, oh, this looks really good, guys. And it's not even done. So let me get um, my butter. So I've already cut my oven on on broil. I've cut it on low. I found that when you don't cook everything on high then your pans last a lot longer and then they don't get as dirty and charred um, when you uh, cook at a lower temperature versus sky high so medium medium high to to medium low is usually what I like to cook on too my grandmother taught me that and it keeps you from having all these extremely burnt up looking pots or whatever okay so this is how it looks on the inside guys so you got your shrimp i got my tomatoes i got the crab meat um i got my pats of butter i got the tomatoes and i got the parsley and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna stick this in the broiler and so we're gonna let that cook and then i'll come back and show you the finished product Okay, so I'm getting ready to pull my seafood mixture out. I did my rice. I just brought the rice that you can throw in the microwave, and I've done that. I'm going to take it, give me a spoon, and spread it out.
I'm not gonna add any butter to it because I got enough butter in the seafood mixture that I don't need to add anymore. But I am gonna add some salt. And I did add some, uh, when I did it earlier, I realized I didn't, uh, I added everything that didn't have um, <laughs> any salt in it. So I did add a little bit of salt and, uh, well, actually I added lorry salt, a little bit of lorry salt to it uh, just to keep it from being bland. So now, Put my rice out. So I took my I took my mushrooms out and I took the broccoli out of the doggy bag. And so I sauteed that. I sauteed my mushrooms first and then I threw my broccoli in it at the last minute just to heat it up. So we're gonna add that on. And now we're going to pull our seafood out of the uh, so, let you all see that can you see yeah looks good so what i did was uh i took all of the butter and the seafood that was in the to-go box at, at the last about five minutes of broiling and added it in and now i'm just going to pour all of this on top Last, but it is hot too, so <laughs> but it did a fantastic job. Now, I could have done it. Well, let me start. You might not be able to hear while I'm doing the clanking. Uh, I could have uh, used something shallow because it took a little bit longer to cook because that, that pan isn't shallow, but it turned out delicious. So, let me show you. So this is the finished product. And you can, if you had some cheese, you can sprinkle some cheese on top of it. But that's dinner and that's from leftovers. So all I did was take the leftover uh, with, and I, and again, now I hadn't eaten any of the, of the entree of the doggy bag. So if you do eat some of yours and you bring it home, you may need to add more than what I did, but um, that, that's dinner and probably leftovers too. So um, if you wanna try this meal, uh, just go back through. I will list it in the description. I do now have a, uh, a YouTube channel. I, you know, I do have a blog called Herby, Omni, and Carnivores. Uh, and the uh, website is www.hocvores.com. Again, that's www dot h o c v o r e s dot com um then i also have a facebook page heard me i'm in carnivores and then my youtube channel i have a youtube channel now and it is called cooking with nails so also if you're watching these videos and you want to start recording some of these uh recipes that i've got I do have books. This is from my website, uh, Irby Omni and Carnivores. Uh, and then also I've got one. These are food journals, so you just write in your recipes. It's not a cookbook. It's a food journal. So you can write in recipes that you get from other people. And this one is called Who Made the Potato Salad? You know, that's the first thing when, especially black people, when we have a, um, a cookout or any type of gathering, we want to know who made the potato salad because we don't eat everybody's potato salad. So... Uh, I would love it if you all, if you're watching this on um, YouTube, click like and subscribe if you like. Uh, if you're on Facebook, click like and click share. So I hope that you all get a chance to try this. I'm getting ready to try it. My son, I hear uh, his ride has brought him home. Uh, he's just getting off work. So he's going to be able to eat immediately when he comes in and I'm getting ready to eat too. So I just want you all to enjoy your day. Have a beautiful day. I hope that you get a chance to try this recipe again. Look all from, uh, mostly from a doggy bag and inspiration from the doggy bag that I had. So what I had left from the doggy bag, add a few ingredients to it. And again, if you have some fresh lemon, you can take some fresh lemon and squeeze over this. Cause again, when you use fresh ingredients, 
um, it just brightens up the dish. Well, that's what the lemon do, and so with the uh, Italian parsley, it just brightens up the dish. So, uh, again, I hope you all tried this. I hope you like it. I hope you click like. I hope you click share. I hope you uh, click subscribe from whichever channel uh, or uh, via social media that you're looking at this on. And you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Try the dish and bon appetit.